Getting his way, he's trying so hard, but thankfully there was a helping hand nearby, so that was good. So thankfully, we're not going to have any ice to deal with for some pet owners walking their dogs, but maybe some rain when they're out and about. Yep, more so toward the second half of the day tomorrow. So not exactly a washout, but the second half of the day pretty much will be. So looking at your commute cast, morning commute, not too bad. There's the off chance at a couple of stray showers before the main rain in the afternoon, but overall the morning commute's going to be fine. That being said, still remember the umbrella and the rain jacket tomorrow because the evening commute, you're going to thank your past self for remembering the umbrella if you remember it. So as you can see, rain expected for the evening, maybe even a few thunderstorms too. So a rocky evening commute for your Monday. At least it will get away with the morning, mostly dry. Got a couple showers trying to form locally, but it's this system we're tracking that's been producing severe weather most of the day. That's what's going to track eastward and give us that widespread rain and thunderstorm activity for our Monday. So as you can see, a couple showers trying to form, but our air is just still too dry for anything major to materialize. So there's just that off chance at a shower tonight, tomorrow morning, but most of it's going to be very isolated. And you'll see exactly that on Futurecast, not even picking up on any of this stray return being picked up on radar. Notice the morning, here's 8 o'clock, mostly cloudy, but mostly dry too. Temperatures stay mild tonight in the 40s, low 50s. There is also a chance that we get a couple of showers along the Tennessee border, westernmost South Carolina, northeast Georgia by the lunch hour, but for the most part, that's looking okay too. It's during the afternoon when things start to go downhill. We'll have showers develop in the mountains first, and then widespread rain expected for the entire area from about the 4 to 6 o'clock time frame, so that's going to make a rocky commute home. And as you can see, 8 o'clock, still some lingering showers around the area area and it's really not going to be till early Tuesday morning when things are completely dry across the area. A stray shower going to be possible Tuesday, but I'm going to keep that day dry because the dry air is going to be pretty quick to overtake this rain. Main story Tuesday is going to be highs only in the 40s and 50s across most of the area, and that's going to be after several days of 60s and 70s. So Tuesday, despite some sunshine, we're going to see a notice dip in temperatures on that day, but it's really not until the end of the week when things start to improve. So it'll be a gradual climb back up to, if not above normal. Also a note for tomorrow, there's an isolated severe weather chance too. We have a marginal threat out for areas west of Greenville for the possibility of some gusty wind. So it's not for widespread severe weather, but just know if you're in this green shaded area. There's a chance that some of these thunderstorms tomorrow evening could contain some gusty winds, maybe even some small hail. So just a heads up for your uh, Monday evening. As we keep things mild tonight, thanks to the cloud cover, 52 degrees for a low temperature. And in the mountains, it's 46 degrees for you. So not a bad night. Maybe give the heater a break. And in the upstate tomorrow, expect a high of 67 degrees. So thanks to the southwesterly wind, we're actually going to be able to warm up pretty decently ahead of the rain. Obviously, the rain's going to cool us down. And 63 degrees will do it for your afternoon high temperature in the mountains. So with half the day dry and half the rain, half the day rainy, we're going to rate it right in the middle at a five out of 10. So certainly not the best day to start the week, but notice that temperatures, while they do go down on Tuesday, go back up Wednesday and Thursday. So we'll be back up to the low 60s after spending a day in the 50s on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, it's low 60s. Thursday, before we know it, we're going to be back up to our average high of 67 degrees. After that, we're going to continue the warming trend. 70s return on Friday, low to mid one, no lower and middle ones at that. 74, 75, your Saturday, Sunday high temperatures. We're going to reintroduce a small chance for rain on Sunday. As of now, looking like most of that rain is going to hold off until Sunday evening. Of course, it's still a week away, so we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. But bottom line, once we get through tomorrow evening with the rain, things looking much better, especially when we warm up by the end of the week. A reminder